The Keurig K-Duo Essentials, available only from Walmart for $99, which does two things. It, it brews into a carafe with ground coffee like a normal coffee maker, and it does K-Cups. The wife wanted the new coffee maker, so here it sits. I'm going to review it right quick. We're going to do things like I'm going to unbox it, not on video, but if I find something in the box that you need to see, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, we're going to set it up on this counter. I'm going to brew some coffee both ways. We're going to do some temperature checks and maybe a few other things and see how it does. Again, the K-Duo Essentials, available only from Walmart. I'm John Sanders, also known as Jelly007. Let's see how it does. Here is everything that came in the box, a way to register it, a coupon to, to get some stuff from Keurig, a little cheaper, a, a startup pamphlet, which tells you what the lights do. I'm going to tell you, though. I'm going to tell you as much as I can, but it's something that also tells you. And then a way to do the, uh, uh, the, the before you brew steps, which is to uh, clean it out. A cleaning brew is what they're... What, it's a cleaning brew the first time you use it. And you have to rinse everything out, which I'm going to do. Now, on the artwork, it's just pretty much common sense stuff. It has a 60-ounce reservoir, which is, which is good. 12-cup glass carafe. Uh, and it states use ground coffee or K-Pods, which is, uh, I don't even understand why they would sell a machine that'll do ground coffee, but they do, and that's what we use a lot, especially my wife. She, she uses both kinds can, uh, throughout the day. She drinks a lot of coffee. Uh, it's got pause and pour, uh, multi-brew sizes, 8, 10, or 12 cups, or 8, 10, and 12 ounces into a cup. Now I'll explain that in a minute. I've already read that over a little bit. It's not confusing. It makes sense once you see it. Let's see. One thing this thing has that I love, or I read it has it, is called Smart Start. And it's because a lot of Keurigs you have to turn on, wait till they heat up, and then put your cup in and put it, or your K-cup in and tell it to start. Well, the one I had before, or one of the ones I had before, you didn't have to do that. You just put your cup in and you hit start. Once it heated up, it automatically brews. You may not think that means a lot, but it does to me. Because you can walk away, and when you come back, your coffee's done. You don't have to go back and tell it to come on. It's, it's, it's crazy not to have it, quite honestly. Here's the uh, carafe. I mean, good looking. it's a good-looking unit. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, here's how, you know, it's common sense. Here's how your basket works. And uh, here's how the uh, K-cups go in. So I'm going to get it rinsed off. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to do, I may not take you all the way through it, but I'm going to do that cleaning brew, the first one you have to do, and get it ready. And then we're going to brew some coffee. And we're going to take some temps on what temperature the carafe is and the cup. So y'all hold up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so before I started filling it with water, I wanted to show you the backside and how you fill it. And it's, it's straightforward and simple. If you want to fill it uh, with, say, one of these or something like a, a, some type of water jug, you just bring it here and pour it in. But if you want to fill it at the sink, you just lift that straight up. And obviously, it goes to the sink. Bring it back, put it on, and put your lid back on. And now we're ready. I'm going to do the cleaning feature, and I've read it, and, and, these, and these instructions are straightforward. If I run into an issue, I think that, that might give you trouble, I'll come back, but right now I'm fixing to go through the cleaning process, and when we come back, unless I have an issue, we're gonna start brewing coffee. So, be right back. I'm gonna do my favorite coffee, mine and my wife's both. Me and Baby Doll love Pike's Place. We're gonna do the K-cup first. I'm gonna press the OZ button. And we are about to go. I've refilled the reservoir, by the way. I'm going to close that. And a 10-ounce cup of coffee is what I drink in the mornings. So we are off and running. I'm going to leave it running to see how long. Now, it was preheated, obviously. But we're going to see how long it takes to put some coffee in that cup. And then we're not, we may not do that with the carafe side because that's going to take a minute. But we're going to do it with this one, whether I fast-forward it or not. And I'll tell you about how long it takes, so.
and that was really quick we're at about 33 seconds at that moment right there from preheated already that works that's uh that's fast enough for me i'm used to uh having to wait on one the one i've used for ever ever since my last one broke the other keurig i had you had to wait for it to heat up put your coffee in and then press it again it was a it's just not a desirable situation if you ask me. So I'm going to see if I can get this where you can make sure you can read these numbers. But here they come. 170, and that is really close to 173, 174. So we have 107, anywhere from 169, depending on where I go in there, to one. The highest I saw was 174. So that looks like uh, perfect, or really good temps to me. And there's what the cup of coffee looks like. So obviously it works. So now I'm going to get this side started. I may have to put a little more water in. I don't think so. I shouldn't have 10 ounces. I should have enough. I'm going to do a 10 cup uh, carafe over here. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this coffee is set about five or six minutes. And that to me is perfect temp to serve. That's 137. And I hope you can see that. But 137 degrees. And that's, a, that's, all, that's spot on. And uh, right out of it, it was 174 but there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, they, they call for a little hotter than that when it goes across the bean, though, or when it goes across the grind. So I don't know what it was that it passed that, but there's nothing wrong with what I've seen so far. I've got my, my normal, uh, the coffee I drink, and it's a little long story, but if I'm in a hurry, I use a K-cup. That's why I'm gonna love this, because if I'm in a hurry, I use a K-cup, and that's, that's all there is to it, and you just saw it do one in like a minute. That was really neat. If I'm not, I usually, if I'm going to drink coffee to be drinking coffee, I grind my own beans. And I, it's, it's not that big of a deal. I think it makes for a lot better coffee. And again, I always, pretty much always use Pike's Place. There's some other high-end coffees. My brother-in-law, he's a, he's a coffee geek, and he has some really good coffee. But off of that, I've filled the reservoir back up. We're going to hit cups. I've got the amount of ground coffee in there I use for 10. So there's 10 cups of coffee. And that's a little more than I normally make, but for the test, I want to do that. And we're going to get a temperature of that and kind of see how long it takes for it to brew 10 cups of coffee. And it is 108 and 15 seconds. So we'll see what it is when it finishes. Be right back. Okay, so we are really close at being completed on 10 cups. And I think, yep, it just did. The light just went red right here. So it liked... 15 seconds taking eight minutes. So whether that matters to you or not, 10 cups in eight minutes, not bad. I don't know if, if you like the time. But let's see, I wanna show one thing about the basket, but let's get an idea about, you know what? Let's don't pour it in there. That might not be the best way. I may have to get my act together a little better. And by the way, the microphone, my microphone is dying. So we may have to do something different in a minute. But right now, all I want to do is get the temp of this coffee. And you can see it is 180 degrees. I think you can. It kind of fogged it up. But take my word, it was 180. And if I can get it to cooperate, it's 180 degrees. Take my word. So that to me, that's a perfect temp. Because in about five minutes, that's going to be... Most people serve at 150 or so. You know, 180 is considered hot. So if you pour it in there right now, it's going to be hot to drink. But it looks like a good cup of coffee. And quite honestly, after I measured that other one a while ago, I tasted it. And I normally put sugar and cream in mine. But there was nothing. And I mean nothing wrong with it. And I think you can see that looks the same way. It's a little hot for me now. Okay, so the things I want to say, and I hope my mic hasn't gone out yet, one is, when you remove this, and I'm going to right quick to show you how to drop this. It has a removable thing here, I guess, so you can, you know, knock it out in the uh, garbage, which is what I'm going to do, so bear with me. And then, 
Here's the only thing I've noticed, if anything, is that you just, it, it gets frustrating if you, to, until you figure out what it is. If you see, that'll kind of look like it's lined up and it's not, but until it sits down, and if you watch real close, you saw it sit down right there. Because if you got it off just a little bit, it won't sit down and this will not clear. You will never get it in there. In fact, you will break it, I believe, if you, before you would get it in there. The next thing I want to say is say you're finished drinking coffee and you want that heater off and you pour out your coffee or whatever reason you're ready to stop drinking coffee and you don't want the heater on, all you do is hold this down for about three seconds and it'll turn all the way off. One, two, three seconds and you can see the red light is out. As long as that red light is on, that heater is on. So one or two things I'll show you other than that. This is removable. It comes off like this and opens up like that so you can clean it. And that's pretty much everything I know to say about it. I mean, the rest of it is just common sense. You know, the same thing you've done forever with Keurigs. I like the reservoir. I like the carafe. I think that's going to be a very handy thing here because sometimes I like to grind my own coffee. And, 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 but if I'm in a hurry, all, every time, this right here. So this is a perfect machine. Keurig's got a good idea. I mean, other companies are trying to do it too, but we break good reviews on this, by the way. So one minute for, for a K-cup and whatever it was I said, I think eight minutes for 10 cups in the craft. So anyhow. Hey, it gets a plus for me so far. If or put some other message in the uh, review. But anyhow, thank y'all for watching my video. Y'all come back to see me. I love y'all all, like always. Get you one of these. I think it'll be good. Or if it ain't, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll tell you before long. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.